what's going on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an Arsenal versus Manchester United preview. This is the clash that we've all been waiting for. In our last six games we've actually won five, drew one, giving us we actually ranked second in the last six matches in the performances we've had. This is one of our big are missing some vital players. We don't know the situation of Bamiyang and whether he's going to be back in training or not. He has missed the last two games due to personal reasons. We still don't know the situation with Tierney. He's missed the last two games due to an injury that he's occurred, which is seemingly a muscle strain or a discomfort in training. Then we've got Partey who came off with a cramp. He's also potentially doubtful, but I do believe he'll make it. Then we're looking at the likes of Smithrow, who we don't know the severity of the situation. But with the introduction of Martin Odegaard, I believe that won't be too big of a deal. And then we've got Sabayos who still is in doubt to play. And then obviously we know the situation where we just don't want to pay £1 million for Mari to play. So he's still out due to an injury. But to balance that, to be fair, United are missing a few players and have a few doubtful players as well. Not as big as what we have. They've only got like Brandon Williams and Bailly that are doubtful. Jones and Rojo, which to be honest don't even matter, are the injured players. Other than that, we've pretty much got the squad we want to play with. Martinelli doesn't seem to be a doubt. We don't seem to have a doubt with any other player. So that's the positive to take out of all the negatives that we have. Before I talk about the match in depth, I'm actually going to talk about what my 11 or what I believe we should be playing. Now, there is the question of whether we play a low block, which we know United suffer and do struggle against, such as Sheffield United. We know that when Crystal Palace first went over to them in, the, uh, in their opening game, they played a low block and countered them. United love to play on the counter, so if we give them the ball, that is something which they struggle with playing against. So that's where the question of whether we're going to go five back or whether we're going to go with our, what we've been so successful with, the 4-2-3-1. Personally, I do think it'll be the 4-2-3-1 with a party Xhaka pivot because that, in a sense, gives us two additional midfielders who come back to defend. Xhaka has been superb at his defensive duties. And let's get into what I think the eleven should be. Starting off, obviously, we're going to be looking at the goalkeeper. I don't think this, this answers itself. It's going to be Burn Leno. He's been one of our standout players, possibly even one of our best players. You know, in the, on the pitch, obviously, a goalkeeper doesn't get the recognition they potentially do deserve to get. So I do think, without a doubt, it'll be Leno going in there, given that there's no injuries leading up to the match. Defence and the central back positions are the ones that we always question because we do have superb defenders we've got Rob Holding we've got David Luiz who ten, who's, we've seen in the last few games but there could be the introduction of Gabriel coming in Mari's obviously injured again I believe it's to do with the fact we don't want to pay a million pounds we've not made a million pounds in sales so that won't be happening but I do think he'll stick with Holding and David Luiz just because of the FA Cup performance from Gabriel wing-backs is a difficult one because we don't 100% know the situation with Kieran Tierney um, but I do believe if Kieran Tierney is out or doubtful we should play Cedric I don't think Maitland Niles or Bellerin will do a good job and I think having Saka further forward with his attacking threat is more vital to this game so I would personally go with Cedric in the left back position bringing Bellerin into right back just because I just don't think Bellerin's even comfortable in right back. So putting him out of position would just be detrimental to the team. Bellerin needs to be disciplined. He needs to hold his wing position due to the fact that they do have players who can expose a defence really easily. The fact that Fernandez has these last minute FC balls that he loves to do. Giving him space in behind with Rashford running in behind is not going to be something we'd want to be dealing with. So... For that reason, I would say Bellerin and Cedric, but I would love to see Cedric and Tierney being the potential wing-backs that we have. Then we kind of move into the, in a 4-2-3-1, we move into the double pivot that we have. Now, for me, it's the question of whether Party's fit enough, I'd say Party needs to start. 
alongside Shaka, they are the most informed midfielders that we have. So, saying that, I don't think there's really a question of anyone else coming in. El Nenny cannot play this, even though he was superb in the first game at Old Trafford. But I just think Partey and Xhaka are vital to this game, the way they've been playing. Xhaka has been playing kind of a deep-lying midfielder, like playmaker, and it's just been excellent. We kind of move on to our wingers now. This is something which is difficult because we don't know the situation with Aubameyang. If Aubameyang is back, I do think he'll come into the squad quite easily if he has been training. But I don't really think that that's been the case. I would start Martinelli. Or do we go with Pepe now? That's the big question. I do think he will pick Pepe over Martinelli. But the fact that Martinelli wasn't given any game time against Southampton midweek can suggest that he may start this game. Saka is a no question. I think he's going to be definitely the one to play out on the right or the left. But he would be definitely one of the wingers to play. Now this is the talked about position in our team. Will it be Smithrow? Will it be Martin Odegaard? Now, there's been a lot of reports suggesting that Arsenal want Martin Odegaard to be ready for the Saturday game, the clash against United. Will that be possible? Potentially, because obviously when we look at the situation that we've been in, we we could we could probably have him ready because he was here on Tuesday. The, the, the signing was announced on Wednesday, so he's had plenty of time to integrate and actually train with the squad. But they don't tend to ever run out in their first game. So, But then there is doubts with Smith Rowe coming off with how bad his injury or will they want to risk him. I do think if Smith Rowe is fit, this is the game to play Smith Rowe. Just to have the cohesion and just the way that we've been playing has been through Smith Rowe. And then giving Martin Odegaard his debut against Wolves. I think Martin Odegaard will get a run out. But that will be obviously a question to see on Saturday. Now, let's talk about the man, the myth, the legend, which is Lacazette. What a turnaround he's had. He is now showing why he's a senior player in this squad. He's making up for all the mistakes he's made. He's been brilliant. His work ethic, his ability just to find a goal, to assist a goal, has been brilliant. He's going to be crucial because he always turns up against the big boys. So he's going to be one of those players which I think needs to play because he makes everything tick in this team. He's the one who holds the ball up to allow the wingers to get into the game. He's also someone that makes the defenders think, is it going to go to Smith or is it going to go to Lacazette? Who's going to be the one to play that 10? Because they do interlink quite well. Because we've seen Smith Rowe pop up with a few goals, you know, with the introduction of Saka bringing in goals as well, with, you know, an astonishing stat that he's got more gold than any teenager. Com talking about the game in general now, we've got to talk about United. And... United do struggle against a low block. This is why it's it's quite a strange one that we're playing at home because we've got to be the team to be on the front foot. We can see the frailties against Sheffield United, but that defence with Tuanzebi, by the way, I do want to say, you know, people are getting on his back and the abuse and the racism that he's received is terrible. But moving on to obviously a more, more lighter note, <clears throat> you know, we've got to talk about He's probably not going to play, not because of his performance, just because I think he's just not ready for the big games just yet. So you're probably going to see more of their senior defenders, which they have been okay. I do think they do lack that defensive awareness. Sometimes they do sleep so we can get at them. We've just got to be astute. We've got to be disciplined against them. Obviously, the man of, you know, the man of the league right now, which is Fernandez. For me... He's, he's, he's quite a simple player to lock out and make ineffective, in my personal opinion. You've just got to play low blocks. Don't let him play those over-the-top balls. He loves playing those sort of, you know, wonder goal, the camera trick goals, you know, where he's, he's spraying the ball 40 yards forward with Rashford running in. If we don't allow him the space in behind to play those balls, you'll, you'll pretty much have him locked down and you'll be fine. Then we kind of move on to... Because United have probably been the most rotational, effective team in the Premier League, in my opinion. I think they're doing it better than City are. Liverpool don't really have a choice. So I do think they've rotated well. And this is why the double pivot that they normally play is going to be a question of whether it be a McTominay-Fred, will it be McTominay, 
you know, Van der Beek, will it be Pogba playing there? Will it be a McTominay Matic situation? We just don't know how defensive they're going to come out. And then obviously you move on to their attackers, Rashford popping out with a goal at any moment, at any time. So that's going to be something that we need to look out for. But how confident am I? I'm not going to lie, this is going to be a tough game. One of our biggest games of the season to prove that we really have turned the corner. This is Arteta's opportunity to shut the haters once and for all. Because a win over United will prove that yes, we've turned the corner. They are the most informed team regardless of what you look at. Even the performance against Sheffield, it's one of many. You know, it's the most informed. They're finding any way to... This is the old United. This is the mentality that they used to go with. So... It's going to be a tough game. Now, to be fair, when we look at our strongest 11 versus their 11, and we look at sort of average ratings that people have been giving these players, they we sit at 6.8 as an average, and they're sitting at about 6.9, so you can see it's marginal. We've had players who have stepped up to the plate. Now, one thing that they do have over us is height, depending on whether Cavani plays, because Pop is quite tall. You've got... McTominay who's decently tall and then you've got Rashford for a winger who's quite tall as well so they could be an aerial threat against us they've put in more tackles on average per game they've had more shots on average per game they've won a hell of a lot more aerial duels, duels than we have so that is something to look out for they do have obviously slabbed in centre back so that'd be we can't just be whipping balls in. I don't think Bellerin's little floaters are going to do anything. So he needs to be whipping those balls in, making the defenders question themselves. We've seen a few good balls from him against Southampton, so I just hope he brings that to the table. I just believe we're going to win this. I'm not going to say I'm confident, but can you really go against your own team? I think we have what it takes, but will we step up on the day? That's the real question, and I do think... We've just got to beat them. And I can't. I just don't want to see United win. I can't be hearing their fans. I, you know, especially being a man that's been brought up in Manchester. That's all I hear. United or City. You know, United City. So it's going to be one of those. I just love to just beat them, just to make them quiet, humble them. And that'll be a brilliant weekend from us. Thank you for watching the preview. Do leave a comment, subscribe, like, and share. Hope you've enjoyed my video. This is my first one, so it probably isn't going to be my best one. Um, I hope to improve. There will be things going on, and I hope to bring the production value up. Thank you for your support, and I hope we get them. Come on, Arteta.